Everybody can't wait to hear about inner drone. And that's what we're going to find out about today. So we have very special guests today talking about our inner drone. So we have Leslie Wolf and we have Jan, which I just found out I was going to pronounce it wrong, but I got it right now. Uh, and so we have also uh, Jan McLaughlin today. And we can't wait to hear about inner drone because that's right around the corner. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thanks so much, Desi. Uh, let me go Go ahead and share my screen. All right. So hi everyone, um, my name is Leslie Wolf. I'm joined as Desi said by Jan McLaughlin and we just wanted to talk a little bit about Interdrone Online and what we've got planned for this year. So at this point, we're about three weeks out um, and we're really excited to cap off this kind of strange year by gathering together virtually to learn and connect. So I thought we'd start off with just a little bit of background for those who haven't attended Interdrone in the past. Um, this year certainly looks a little bit different than other years as we're not able to meet in person, um, but it's our fifth year and a lot really has changed since 2015. So as we know, this is still somewhat a, of an emerging industry and the show has kind of kept pace with that. We've evolved as the market has shifted. Um, we still have educational content that spans from introductory to advanced, um, but now that there's been more you have a demonstrated enterprise use of drones. We've also tailored our content around that as well. Um, so InterDrone Online is going to be three full days of sessions, panels, keynotes, workshops, and lots of exciting networking opportunities. All right. So we made a number of changes to the show this year. Um, we were initially planning on a move to Dallas from Las Vegas. And while that's gonna to have to wait until 2021, um, we've built a strong network in Texas. I see, I think I saw Adrian on the call. Um, and we have some really excellent speakers joining us this year who are going to be covering new developments and initiatives in Texas. Uh, one big change too, we decided to hone in on five main verticals, those being construction, public safety, energy, surveying and mapping, and what we're calling the drone nexus. Um, so that covers things like regulation, standards, uh, photography, and security. So things that really end up touching the other four verticals. And I'll pass it over to Jan. Hi everyone. Um, like Leslie said, my name's Jan McLaughlin and um, I manage our exhibitor and our sponsor relationships for the show. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go through some brief um, overview of our attendee profile and then talk a little bit about the um, exhibitor and sponsor experience at the show and also the tools that we have available to, to really facilitate uh, meaningful connections between our sponsors and our exhibitors and our attendees. Um, but as Leslie said, you know, we are a commercially focused drone show. Um, if you look here um, by the industry, it's really a cross section of the commercial drone industry. So construction is a big one. Um, Public safety um, is a, a, one of our largest areas of focus for the show and also one of the largest areas where attendees come from, as well as real estate, um, energy and infrastructure inspection, and then surveying and mapping. Um, when it comes to job function breakdown, you know, we get a lot of director level people, CEOs, presidents, basically folks who have the, the ability to um, either recommend or influence purchasing decisions for products and or services. Leslie, next slide. Uh, Leslie mentioned, um, you know, one of the main benefits of going to really any conference or trade show is just, you know, the ability to connect. And we have built and structured the event this year to really, again, facilitate those connections between not only, you know, exhibitors and attendees, but exhibitors and exhibitors and exhibitors and speakers, so that everyone really has an opportunity to, to network. So one thing we've done is we have dedicated time periods where um, our exhibit hall is really gonna be the focus of the show. So we're not gonna have it competing with a large amount of conference programming. Um, and we'll be having different opportunities and different ways to connect in the virtual exhibit hall. Um, we're also having verticalized networking events. We call them enterprise connects. 
Um, so those will be focused on um, folks who are in those specific verticals that Leslie had mentioned previously. So construction, energy, infrastructure inspection, public safety, and surveying and mapping. Um, we also are gonna have a number of round table discussions. So these would be opportunities to, you know, to get around a table, you know, virtually obviously um, with a group of folks who are in the same vertical that you're in and really just talk about, you know, things that are going on in, in the vertical and, um, and uh, talk about, you know, ways to kind of move the industry forward. Um, and then uh, Leslie, I'll turn it over to you to talk about the Career Connect, which is an exciting new opportunity that we just added this year. Absolutely, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about the Career Connect. This is the first time we are holding it. We are working with Women and Drones to put this on. And um, essentially it's a way to connect folks who are looking for new roles um, with companies who are hiring. And um, so we have, I believe, a, a, about seven companies at this point who are participating, who are actively hiring, they're looking for, um, for people to apply. Um, and so through the Career Connect, we kind of have the opportunity to set up targeted matchmaking. Um, the Career Connect is gonna kick off with an interview with a really well-acclaimed headhunter with tips about how to prepare for an interview, kind of interview readiness tips, um, building out your resume, things like that. Um, we also have um, a drone influencer who's going to be speaking about sort of building your brand and pitching yourself to clients. Um, and then from there, we have these, um, these meetings set up between attendees and uh, essentially the hiring managers of companies so that you can kind of have that, um, that targeted connection. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a great way to, to prepare for, for interviews as well as sort of having an informal interview with a company that you might be interested in. Great. So now, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the um, exhibit and sponsorship experience at the show. Um, generally, when you know when a company is looking at doing a conference or a trade show, there's a few key goals or objectives that they're possibly looking to achieve, um, and I'll, I'll go through them right now. One that's usually at the top of the list is brand awareness. So, um, you know, whether that it's an established company that, you know, is looking to maintain an industry presence or maybe they're launching a new product or service, but, um, you know, having that visibility at an event like Interdrone is, mm -hmm. is important because um, it maintains your visibility within the industry. Um, for a new company or a startup, it's really, it's your way to get the foot in the door. You know, it's a way to kind of announce your presence um, within the industry if you're a newer company. And uh, the primary way that a company would get visibility um, at a conference or trade show is through a booth. This year, it happens to be virtual. Um, so you can kind of think about like, what does that look like? So a virtual booth is almost like a company profile online. So there's basic company information. There's also product information. So um, images, um, videos, um, specs, all that kind of stuff can be included. Um, there's also the opportunity to have downloadable materials like white papers and eBooks and case studies. Um, another thing that's really important at, at a conference or a trade show is the ability to capture the contact information of the folks that you interact with. Um, so lead generation. Um, I think I, you know, most companies, when they do an event, they, they want to go in thinking that they, you know, the people they're interacting with might be interested in purchasing their product or service. So what we've done is we've structured um, our booths to be auto, have automatic lead capture. So if anyone is in the booth virtually, downloads materials, starts a chat, um, that contact will be provided to the sponsor um, the same day. So pretty much automatically. Um, the same is true for um, if there's a sponsored conference session, anyone that registers to attend that session, um, the lead will also be captured and sent to the sponsor as well. Um, another thing that's important, and I think this is something that, especially in the drone industry, which is kind of still, you know, fairly new, is that, you know, your interactions with attendees are important, but also interacting with other exhibitors and other, other folks in the industry is key to kind of building industry partnerships and networking. So that's something that, you know, Leslie and I have been working really hard on is really keeping those kind of community connecting opportunities still in place, even in a virtual setting. Um, and the last thing that I think that's important is, uh, you know, providing some sort of thought leadership or education opportunities. Um, it obviously is another touch point, you know, for a, for a sponsor or exhibitor to kind of speak to a larger group than maybe the other would be able to um, from their 
virtual booth, but uh, we do have opportunities available um, in the 15 minute format, 30 minute format, um, even keynotes, and then also uh, round table discussions. Next slide, Leslie. Um, so based upon those uh, key goals and objectives that I just went through, these are um, our booth and sponsorship packages. So um, these are just a list of the deliverables that we're offering for 2021, sorry, 2020. <laughs> um, but as you can see, a lot of this aligns with the goals and objectives that I had just gone through. Um, basically product information, the ability to have one-on-one -on -one meetings, um, the ability to do live texting and chatting, um, as well as the ability to, to do um, in-booth sessions as well. You can pre-record a session that would be in your booth that would be on demand for attendees um, to view. Next slide, Leslie. And uh, one of the things I mentioned earlier was speaking opportunities. And these are our speaking opportunity upgrades that I was talking about. Again, you know, in a 15 minute format, 30 minute format and keynote. Format. Um, I will say that the gold and platinum levels also include the ability to host a vertical specific networking event. So you would have basically two opportunities to engage um, with our attendees. One would be more presentation format and one would be more informal networking oriented. Awesome. And we also just wanted, we'd love to see you all at Interdrone. Um, we have a discount code for um, Women in Drones uh, uh, members. So it's Women in Drones 15, gets you 15% off. Um, but yeah, we'd love to take any, any questions or, or thoughts. So it looks like we already do have one. Jennifer, do you want to unmute? In yeah, for sure. I, I just had a very quick question for, for the two of you. Um, do you know how many, like, have you capped how many platinum or gold sponsors you have for the, the show? Yeah, we haven't capped them. Um, okay. We have two gold, one silver um, at, at this point. So there's a few others that potentially are coming in as well. Awesome. I know we've got you hooked up with Yes, a you manufacturer you. that you're trying to get to. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Yeah. Um. Anybody else have questions about it? I don't know if anybody's attended any other ones. You know, Inner Drone has actually been one I've been to faithfully every year. I've loved Inner Drone, and it's actually where I first got connected with women in drones. And so I'm excited about the connection that has been made. And, and so it's always been one of my favorites to attend. Glad Mine as well, that. Desi. Yeah. yeah. Ours, uh, yeah. So Sundance Media Group has also been a, a big uh, supporter of Inner Drone pretty much from its inception. And there's just so much knowledge and information that you can learn from this particular conference. Uh, I look forward to it being digital because I think people have an opportunity to really dig into some of the nitty gritty rather than being caught up in some of the, you know, the wow factor of walking around uh, a trade show and getting lost in, in some of the, the stuff that might not be as relevant. So uh, if you have a chance, definitely check it out. Yeah, and to point out to Sundance is putting on some really excellent um, sessions and, and workshops this year at Interdrone that we are very Yay. excited for. <laughs> um, I saw a question from Linda asking why the move to Dallas, and I'd love to touch on that a little bit. Um, when we were kind of evaluating who interacts with our materials, so our webinars, our, our newsletters, we could see that there were folks internationally, but also all across the U.S., um, interacting with and downloading our white papers, but not necessarily, that wasn't necessarily tracking to show attendance. Um, so we were seeing that, it, you know, there are people spread out, but, um, you know, Dallas is a more central location, but it also is home to a lot of, you know, really great innovations within the drone space, as well as um, some things going on with key verticals like construction, public safety, and energy. Um, so we wanted to switch things up. We've been in Las Vegas for five years now. Um, we, you know, we might move back at some point, but we were excited about the idea of being in a new space, which hopefully will happen in 2021. Leslie, uh, this is Sam. I have a question. Um, if a candidate wants to participate in the Career Connect, 
how do they sign up to get an interview? That's a great question. And Sam has been working with me on the Career Connect. So um, we're very excited about this. Um, there, if you go to interdrone.com forward slash career connect, um, there's a form for participants to sign up. Um, because of the nature of the matchmaking that we're doing, we do want everyone who participates in the Career Connect does need to sign up prior to. Um, and then in the weeks leading up to the show, we get in touch about um, what meetings you've got scheduled with the various companies who are participating. Thank you. Thanks. So Jennifer has posted the link for the Career Connects in there, if anybody wanted to take a look at that. Also, um, Interdrone has graciously given us a discount. And so I posted the discount code into the chat as well. Yeah, so um, she's wondering, is that the correct one? I think it is. No, the second one is the correct one. The one first is- one I just plopped in because that's what Leslie said, but then I went to the website. It was like, oh, there's a dash oh. in there. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so it's the second one. Yeah. It's the for second one. <laughs> um, with regards to women in drones and inner drone, Uh, There's always been a luncheon. So is there anything, I know it's digital, I know we're virtual, but is there going to, are we going to plan anything for maybe this group to be at Interdrone during the, the set, you know, lunches or anything? Yeah, um, I'm glad you asked that. So we have been working behind the scenes to record um, interviews with all of the women to watch honorees. um, And those will all be aired during, um, I believe it's about an hour and a half. Um, so it's a, it's a virtual luncheon um, where everyone gets to gather and, and honor uh, the winners of this year, um, as well as, as network and, and connect sort of like it was in the live setting. Fantastic. Bring your own lunch, though. Yeah. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be great. So um, I don't I don't know if anybody else is asking questions, but I would I was wondering. So. I've attended several uh, online, and I think everybody else has too, virtual events right now. Um, Tell me about actual signing up and using the, going through the whole interface of joining a room. And sometimes there's been a few that have been hard and there's some that have just been fantastic and so easy to work with. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I love that question because as we planned the conference, we got to trial about like 30 different virtual platforms. And, you know, we've also attended the other the other shows that have gone on. And I think all the platforms kind of have pros and cons, um, but the one we, and some of them are a lot easier to use than others, um, but the one we settled on is called SwapCard. Um, and we chose it, you know, because it has the smooth interface, it's easy to use, but also because it puts networking at the forefront so you're not taken out of the platform to talk with people. You have the ability to video chat. Um, it just tracks things really, really well and really smoothly. Um, I'm trying to think, what did, did I cover the question? Um, yeah, so there's also, um, we have um, videos on how to use it so that you can kind of go in and I think this is similar to other platforms, but set up your profile prior to, as well as kind of take a look around um, see what's going on prior to the show being open. Um, we also have a number of on-demand sessions. So we have our, our program and, and sessions that are scheduled for specific times of the day. But if you logged in the day before Interdrone, you can access the, this library of on-demand sessions um, that are available at any time. Um, and then once you're in too, you have access to Launchpad, which is our um, our information hub. And so you can view these sessions for, for months afterward. Um, so, you know, if you're busy with work or with the holidays coming up, um, you don't need to actually be in the session at the exact time that it's happening. And then Jan, maybe you can speak to a little bit about like um, what networking looks like or what it looks like to yeah, interact. Well, I think, yeah, I think, I think for all yeah, for all event participants, it's really key to you know educate them on how to maximize you know the functionality of the platform so that they understand you know the different ways to connect. So there, we will be doing training um, for attendees and for our vendors. We actually have a webinar coming up on December first um, for for vendors and also and also potential vendors um, just to kind of do a walkthrough about you know the different ways to connect and appointment setting and all of that. So if anyone's interested in sending the, or registering for that, please let me know. I can send you the link. 
Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it's just, it's, it's important to understand, you know, the different ways that, you know, you can set meetings. Um, the registration to attend a session is very easy. Just click the button to, to attend it. So it's all fairly straightforward. When you add things to your calendar too, um, it's in your calendar within swap cards. So again, it's not really taking you out to another system. It, it keeps things pretty seamless. Well, that's good to know. I, I know I went to one event and I had like multiple tabs up so I could be bouncing around. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of my pet peeve when I'm like forced into some other window and I feel like it's, it's better when it's all just in one place. Well, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. So I saw actually, uh, I saw in here that Vic said he was going to be on a panel and then Jennifer was saying that she's actively involved. Uh, Vic, do you want to share maybe about your panel? Do a little like promo, kind of share it with us? A them? little promo? Yeah, we like it. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll be on a, a panel about privacy. Um, one of the aspects of the uh, 2018 uh, drunk reauthorization or FAA reauthorization act, sorry, um, is that although it's not law, it's highly suggested that drone operators have a privacy. Um, I don't say privacy policy, but that's probably the best word to use. So we're going to be talking about that. Um, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. We're recording it here next week or so. And uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good panel. It'll be fun. Um, I was on a panel last month or last year as well in Vegas on the ramp check panel. That was always interesting. Got to talk about my being ramp checked by the FBI. And, um, but no, I, I love Interdrone. I think it's a great, um, um, just a great program to go to. I was all ready to go to Dallas twice. But um, yeah, next year, next year, I got my COA so I can fly downtown at night in Dallas. So I guess I'll extend that. Yeah, you are ready. <laughs> I am. You know me and night flying. I love flying at night. So. <laughs> So, Proven, you have a question. Did you want to unmute uh, yourself and ask your question, or you want me to read it? Uh, yeah, it was just a, a simple question um, about uh, post-show. Is there any additional cost to be able to watch? Uh, I mean, assuming that we've already bought uh, a pass to watch the recorded sessions. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, if you've already bought the pass to Interdrone, you are all set and you have access to the recorded material for, I believe, a full year. Um, so you'd be all set. Thank you. So through a year, that's great. That's great. Jennifer, do you want to do a kind of little segue for your program that you're doing there at Interdrone? This is fantastic. I'm so yeah. excited that we're able to find out about what's really happening there and going through it. Yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, we're actually uh, hosting a couple of things. So we'll, we'll do our um, night CSI UAV. Uh, so the forensic scene capture, uh, that's something usually that we do out in the field, take everyone off site. So we, we, this will be a little bit of pre-recorded plus some live in, engagement. Uh, and then we, we're, we're doing our night flight workshop, but we're only doing the um, theoretical part of it. So we're doing the classroom portion. Obviously, we can't take people out into the field and put drones in their hands to fly them, but uh, we will present that to uh, to a group of attendees as well. And then I believe uh, we are doing a couple of other educational pieces, one on construction, uh, another on, uh, I think, search and rescue, and a third on... Leslie, Surveying correct, correct me if I'm inspection. Yeah, inspection. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. So yeah, so we, we've got a, a few pieces that we're, we're offering up uh, as the educational side. Well, doesn't that sound exciting with everything going on and then the Career Connect and there is just a lot of good things happening. I'm excited for this. All right. Yeah, we're, we're really excited. Thank you for letting us share. Ah, does anybody have any last minute questions about it? What might be offered there or anything like that? Um, actually, um, I do have a question uh, because I went on the website and I see it's on the 16th of December from 3.30 to 6. And my question is, which time zone is it? Uh, CST. Sorry? Uh, Central Standard Time. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, 
I think that kind of wraps up our questions. Now, I did put your information in the chat for both of you, if that's all right. Uh, that way, if anybody does have any follow-up questions or anything like that, um, is it all right to go ahead and follow up with you? Absolutely, shoot us an email. Okay, so I put it in the, in the chat if anybody wants to reach out. Uh, what is Inner Drone Launchpad? I was just answering that via, via text. Um, Enduro Launchpad is our year-round information hub. So um, currently we have um, all the sessions from 2019's Interdrone that were all recorded. We have webinars from this previous year. We have our weekly podcast is there because we record that as um, on video as well as audio. Um, we're hoping to eventually build that out into an e-learning platform as well. Um, so you can take courses, um, learn more, get your part 107, things like that. Um, so it's sort of an all around information hub. So all of the 2020 uh, sessions will be on there as well. All right, great place to go check out, right? <laughs> okay, well, if that is good for the questions, you can do a follow up if you need to. Leslie and Jan, we just thank you so much for sharing the information and we're all excited to be there for Inner Drone this year. It'll be a great one and, and probably the last one for the year. So it'll be really good to get that one in there and get our last bit of information for 2020.